update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 107. Nasdaq's off 67. S&P's down 19. Gold. Gold contract up five up uh, $2 at 1705. You get silver up six cents, $18.66. Light sweet crude up five bucks, $102.59 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year down six ticks, 118.14. The 30 year off 26 at 139.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar's giving back 700 ticks, 107.362. Euro's at 101. Yen is at 138, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 the U.S. dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P, folks. Bottom line is you get a market, couldn't hold price out here. Makes sense. This is going to be a tricky bottom. But my take is that we get a little bottom that's made in here for a nice counter-trend bounce. And I'm talking about a much larger bounce. And the reason I'm talking a much larger bounce here is that it's almost what this market's doing today. This is just the type of market that you got higher, we're gonna have lighter volume. So this is saying that the, you know, this baby can get into the lows that were established out here Friday, or this gap, there's a gap that's laying out here on the SPY at 379, right now at 383. And the X100 set up the exact same way. Bottom line, you got the higher price, couldn't hold price. You're gonna have lighter volume. Uh, that being said that uh, the last swing point on here is the uh, 296.75, we had 58 million shares traded. We're gonna do about 48 million. So the bottom line, it's gonna take more cars in order to blow through this area. But my take is that we're not gonna see a lower low. You know, the last low that we had was established, my take is that last Wednesday inside of this marketplace. Gold, gold contract, you know, caught a bid, gave up the bid. And this is without the dollar, you know, basically the dollars continued down all day long, giving the market some relief. Uh, gold contract got to that 17.22, couldn't hold it. You're at 17.06. And if we go over to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar, what you're going to see is back and down. Real question is, is that we'll get any follow through? You know, it came into some strength here at the 106.92. We hit 106.89 and rejected it. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. But the, the correlation is direct. Lower dollar, markets can go higher. Higher dollar, smokes markets in about two seconds flat. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 96. NASDAQ's off 60. S&P's off 17 and a half. Come right back.